Greetings, greetings, greetings. Peace, love, and light family. I am Sis D. I'm a spiritualist and a naturalist, and I believe I'm an humble messenger and oracle of the Most High Yah. Sometimes I come to y'all with messages of encouragement. Sometimes those messages are just general information or food for thought, and sometimes they're correction, correction and forewarning. And today's message, I think, is just general information, okay? Y'all tell me what y'all know. Put it in the comments down below, all right? Before I go any further, I just want to take a moment really quickly and say welcome, welcome, welcome to the first time viewers of the channel. I hope and pray to the Most High that you enjoy the content that I'm going to bring on you today and that you can pick up a couple of nuggets and carry it on with you throughout your day and your week, okay? Now, without further ado, I just want to dive right on in, all right? The topic for today is kind of a reminder message if y'all who have been following the channel you remember a video that I did and I'll put it in the descriptions or I'll make mention of it in the description so you guys can go back and check it out. I mentioned don't have sex and I basically was saying there are unclean spirits on this planet right now. This is kind of a turkey back, piggyback, tail back, pigeon back, dove back, whatever kind of fowl of the air back that you want to choose on day. Today, this is kind of a tail back on that, Okay. So the message that came back to me, so maybe for some of y'all, it might be a reminder because you're still dabbling. So the message is low vibrational spirits and imposter people. And I'm going to share that with y'all again, okay? Low vibrational beings and imposter people. Y'all, we are in a very spiritual time in the earth it's an exciting very very exciting time to be alive but it's also a precarious time to be alive and the exciting part is the holy scriptures are literally almost popping off the pages the holy scriptures are becoming flesh you see that thing being acted out those same old spirits from 2000 years ago are being seen back in the earth again different face different earth suit same spirits them saying Judas spirits, them saying Pharisee, Sadducee spirits, them saying crucifier spirits, those saying evil spirits are back in the earth. They just in a different earth suit, right? There are low vibrational beings. You are human per se. You're a being, you're a humanoid, but you're so base. You're very, very low. You operate in ignorance, fear, Anger, hostility, hatred, malice, backbiting, envy, jealousy. Shall I go on? Very low vibrational beings. These are the people that are generally the ones starting fights, starting wars, breaking up families, coming with all kind of foolishness and nonsense. These are the low vibrational beings that I'm talking about. And y'all got to be really, really careful because... Sometimes those low vibrational beings are only in your circle to suck from you. I did a energy vampires video. If y'all didn't see the energy vampires video, go check out the energy vampires video. Those are the low vibrational beings. Y'all check y'all family members. I love my mother. I love her to bits and pieces. Would give her a kidney if she needed it. That's how much I love my mother. My, I'm talking about, I have two mothers. So I'm talking about my birth mother. But she is very, very, very negative. And some of that she has rubbed off on me because I saw her doing it growing up. I have to constantly check myself, y'all. So your family circle is not absconded of being a low vibrational being. Not. Your best friend, your partner's husband, wife, whoever your life partner is, whoever's your beloved, let me put it like that. They can be a low vibrational being too. So y'all got to be super duper careful who you guys are choosing to have close around you. Because it's going to be a make or break here soon. We don't have a whole lot more time where things are going to increasingly be revealed. The frequencies on the earth are changing as they ramp up and things bombard the earth more. Y'all will see more people wake out. Blue. People, best friend, your best friend just threw wig out. It might be your mother, your father. Low vibrational beings. As the frequencies 
start impacting the earth more, people are going to lose their Lose it. Just die. That's what's going to happen. Y'all watch the playbook. Watch the playbook. Watch and see what this DC is. Okay, so that's the low vibration of beings. Let me jump over on the other side, the imposter people. Y'all, so there was a show called V. V, like the letter V, right? It basically was for these visitors, these alien people that came down on the planet. They were reptilian in nature. But to be here, they knew that they couldn't walk around in their reptilian form. So they put these earth suits on. And when they would get around their own community, they would just... And I'm going to leave a picture for you. Y'all go check out if y'all need to. Since this is not just making stuff up. I told y'all I've been a sci-fi buff for a very long time. Hollywood knows who's who. And they've been telling it for a long time. We just thought, oh, that's so entertaining. It's so interesting. These people, literally on the inside, they're reptiles. But the outside, they're just dripping off human-looking skin. Oh, it's so entertaining. No, no. That's the playbook. Every alien movie that y'all see, what are the characters or what are the creatures behind when they start... I don't remember uh, the X-Men where the girl who with the tongue that would <laughs> slip and poison people. She was gorgeous on the outside. Looked like the blonde hair, tall, little, nice tan. But when she pulled that skin off, full-blown reptile. That's not the only movie, y'all. Look at what Hollywood says. And why are they always portrayed as reptiles when they're aliens? Why? Look at the color of the earth suit that they usually put on when they in, they spray on or put on the earth suit. Pay attention to the color of the earth suit that they usually embody. We have people in this earth that have morphed themselves. I'm put up some pictures of that too while I'm talking. Y'all pay attention to these pictures that I'm going to put up. There are people on this earth now who have morphed themselves into whole and complete reptiles, split tongues, literally. The doctors say it is very, very dangerous. You could die very easily. That is a very dangerous procedure to have done. Sometimes it's an infection that happens in the mouth because the mouth is warm and moist, so infections breathe. So they tell people don't do that surgery where you get the forked tongue. Very, very dangerous. But yet people still insist on having it. There are a couple of young men that are tatted all over their whole entire bodies. This one young man has made himself into the human reptile. Do y'all think that just is just odd? Does that is that normal to y'all? To go make your whole face green, your whole hands have tattooed scales, your neck tattooed scales, forked tongues, little horn buds, little contacts that are like elliptical several of them and I'm gonna put pictures up these are real people walking in the earth today y'all think that's do you see that as odd that they want to embody these reptiles and that you would do that to your whole entire body tattoos one are expensive two they are not necessarily the the most easy thing to undergo I don't know about a whole body tattoo because my grandfather taught me as a little child, don't mark up your body. I got one tattoo, y'all. It's about this big. If you didn't know since he was telling you I had a tattoo because I did it in ignorance in university with a girlfriend of mine that was dear to me then, um, y'all would not know because it's on a part of my body unless you were very, very close to me. In, in, like in my inner circle, you would not know. So I don't know about a whole body tattoo, but I know that thing can't be, oh, it's so, it's not painful. And then, three, why would you go and put scales around your eyes, your eyelids, places that are very, very sensitive in a reptile? Out of all the things you could have picked, you could have been a fox, but a dolphin. <laughs> you could have became an ego. I wouldn't want to be that neither. You could have tried to be a butterfly, a human butterfly. Makes more sense then a reptile a snake that's what you picked okay 
Y'all check out some of these movies. The old uh, series V, I think it was done in 1995, 1996. I'm going to put that in the description. Y'all check out some of these pictures. Go back and look at this video again. Think about what I'm saying. Low vibrational beings. Be careful who's in your inner circle. Check it. Check your circle, y'all. Friends, partners, relatives, any of that. All of them could be low vibrational beings. I'm going to leave y'all with the scripture. Uh, Habakkuk, Habakkuk 2 and 4. It basically says, these spirits that's back in the earth are very proud. And I'm paraphrasing. I'm going to leave that scripture for you. These spirits that's back in the earth right now are very, very proud spirits. But even though they're proud and they're walking around here boasting like, we are the business, we are in control, we have power, we're running the, we run this mother. That's the spirit that's in them. But the Most High says, be careful, be forewarned. Their spirit is not right, upright within them. Meaning, that spirit in that earth shell, don't trust it. It's something wrong with it. It ain't of the Most High, y'all. Habakkuk 2 and 4. Uh, I'm going to leave that for y'all can read it. Because y'all know I'm not just going to say nothing. Anyway, y'all, with that being said, I hope and pray to the Most High you were able to get something out of this video and you were able to enjoy it. Please share it with those that you know, especially if they look like they're struggling. I, I will leave my email if y'all need. Thank you to the ones who sent me emails. I appreciate y'all so much. I hope that you got your responses and that you guys were able to communicate with me. Um, I like to keep the lines of communication and dialogue open. So thank you y'all for the emails. I did respond to a lot of y'all. Sorry for the lateness. Um, yeah, so that's that for the emails, y'all. If you have any questions about something that I've covered and you don't understand it or you want me to break that down and put some more flesh on it, feel free to leave me an email, okay? Now, let me go ahead and say thank you, thank you, thank you, y'all so, for taking time to come and spend with sis d i definitely do appreciate it you there's 101 other things that you could have done on today but you choose chose to spend your a, a part i'm tongue tied a part of your day with me and i definitely do appreciate it to the delightful family to the vibe up y'all try i see y'all i see y'all may the most high bless y'all and keep y'all and be with you all as we go into the furtherance of this week. All right. And with that, I'm going to close on out like I always do by saying, vibe up, y'all. Vibe up. This is T and I am male.